and today we're going to be looking at the book The Tin Forest. It's a really intriguing book, I love it. And it's written by Helen Ward and Wayne Anderson. And it's all about a place where it isn't very nice to start with. And it says that the wind, there's a windswept place where everything was forgotten. It's where people put their rubbish. And as you can see, it's not very nice. And what we're going to do in a minute, we're going to act out the story to some music and as the story is being told. So when we come to this about the, we're going to try, we're going to pretend to be the rubbish. So we're going to make ourselves into really strong positions. Like all the rubbish, can we see that there's, uh, pipes and lots of metal bits that have just been thrown away and also that the weather is horrible it's rainy and windy so on the when we talk about the weather we're gonna make ooh, <laughs> talking about the weather uh, like our arms go out we're gonna be like the wind and the rain over this barren land and then we come to a little old man who lives in this place in a house, so when we talk about the house, we're gonna make ourselves come up and we're gonna put our hands above our heads to make a shape of a house. And it's a very small house, and inside lives a very old man. And how are we going to do that then? If we're gonna make ourselves into a little old man, we need to make a maybe. This old man does a lot of work. So he's slightly bent over, as you can see, and he's walking along, maybe not as springing along as we would, but he's walking, so he walks slowly. And he's carrying very heavy things. He's trying to clear up all the rubbish and things that have been left there. He sorts and he sifts and he buries. So we're going to pick up those heavy things and we're gonna try and move them and sort them. We're going to do some digging. So you're going to make sure we're holding onto that spade, digging into the ground. And we're gonna try and put all the things into the hole and bury the rubbish. Now the old man has a dream, at night he dreams, we're going to pretend to go to sleep and then we're going to wake up and we're going to be, <gasps> he dreams of a beautiful jungle forest where there's lots of animals and so we're going to pretend to be those animals with big wings and we're going to be the trees with our arms reaching out wide we're also going to be the flowers opening up. And there might be some other animals like frogs. So on the frogs, we're going to jump and leap. And on the tigers, we're going to prowl using the whole of our bodies. But when he wakes up, it's still not very nice. It's still wild and windy and not mm, very nice at all. Poor man, he's, but one day he has an idea and he starts making things. So what we're going to do, we're going to start by making, turning that rubbish, he's turned it into a flower. And more flowers. And then he makes leaves and branches and we're going to use our screwdrivers and we're going to tap and we're going to make the branches. And we might even be, start to be some of the branches because it grows bigger and bigger. He makes lots of things with all the rubbish. So we're going to see, see if you can be making, use your hands, show me how we hammer and we screw and we bend. <gasps> look, he's made a bird. And if you look really carefully in this book, you can see lots of animals that he made. There's a butterfly, a tiger, and oh, we've got a lizard, and there's lots of other little creatures. Anyway, one day, a bird does come. So again, we're going to be that bird and we're going to swoop down. And the old man gets his sandwich, so we're going to cover and rip it open and scatters it all over the floor. And then we're gonna be the bird swooping down having those crumbs and then sitting on the branches to sing. Oh, I think the man really enjoyed that. But the next day, 
the bird's gone again. Oh, and the poor man, he's really sad. So on that bit, we're gonna show, it says here that his heart ached. That's how sad he was. So on that bit, we're going to really be looking around. Use your eyes to be looking out. Can we see anything? Is that bird still there? And that night, he makes a wish. So I want to see in your faces, you're going, oh yes, please, 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 please. I'm sure we've all made a wish at some time or another, maybe when it's our birthday, <laughs> blowing our cake, candles out. So he makes a wish. And then, he, to his surprise, and we're gonna be, oh, you wanna use those faces when we see the birds, and you can be the birds coming back in. They come in. <gasps> And slowly, and on this little bit, we're gonna make ourselves very, very small. And slowly we're going to grow, and grow, and grow, because we're going to be the forest growing up. And as the forest grows up, so the animals come. And we're going to see how we can be the animals. The birds, like we've done before, nice and wide wings sweeping around. The frogs jumping along. That's it, and the tigers, tiger prowling and looking at this lovely new forest that's come. And there we can see on the last page there how it's beautiful. And so at the end, it's really, he's not with a mechanical one anymore. He's with the real tiger. And it's somewhere that everyone wants to go. And look at his face there. Oh, he's delighted. So we're going to sit down at the end maybe and stroke our tiger and show those really lovely faces. Right, so what I'm going to do now is play some music with the story. So we're going to hear the story and we're going to act it out. So I'm going to move to the side and I want you then, when you see me coming in, you're going to be like me. We're going to cop copy the my actions and we're going to be First of all, all that rubbish. We're going to act out the story. So just follow along. I'm not going to say any more, but see if you can follow and see if you can remember where, what comes next. Are you ready? Let's put the music on, shall we? The Tin Forest by Helen Ward and Wayne Anderson. There was once a wild, windswept place near nowhere and close to forgotten that was filled with all the things that no one wanted. Right in the middle was a small house. with small windows that looked out on other people's rubbish and bad weather. In the house lived an old man. Every day he tried to tidy away the rubbish, sifting, sorting, burning and burying. Every night, the old man dreamed. He dreamed he lived in a jungle full of wild forest animals. There were colorful birds, tropical trees, exotic flowers, Curtains, 
tree frogs and tigers. But when he awoke, his world outside was still the same. One day, something caught the old man's eye and an idea planted itself in his head. The idea grew roots and sprouted. Feeding on the rubbish, it grew leaves. It grew branches. It grew bigger and bigger. Under the old man's hand, a forest emerged. A forest made of rubbish. A forest made of tin. It was not the forest of his dreams, but it was a forest just the same. Then, one day, across the wind-swept plain, the wind swept a small bird. The old man spilled crumbs from his sandwiches onto the ground. The bird ate the crumbs and perched to sing on the branches of the tin tree. But the next morning, the visitor was gone. All day, the old man walked through the silence and his heart ached with emptiness. That night, by the moonlight, he made a wish. In the morning, the old man woke to the sound of birdsong. The visitor had returned and with him, his mate. The birds dropped seeds from their beaks Soon green shoots broke through the earth. Time passed. Soon the sound of birds mingled with the buzzing of insects and the rustle of trees. Small creatures appeared, creeping amongst the jungle trees. Wild animals slipped through the green shadows. There was once a forest 
near nowhere and close to forgotten that was filled with all the things that everyone wanted. And in the middle was a small house and an old man who had toucans, tree frogs and tigers in his garden. Well, I hope you enjoyed acting out the story. It's a beautiful story and makes us realise how much we need to look after our world. Maybe you could listen to it back, make up your own uh, actions. If you can do it with a copy and do it on your own like we did, or you could do it with a friend and be the different, one could be the old man, one could be the animals. You could make the house together. Think of different ways that you could do that. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.